What is going on, MMA community? It's your boy, Super Saiyan MMA. And today, fighter on spotlight is Trevin Giles, middleweight, nickname The Problem. Trevin Dwayne Giles. What can we say about our guy? Well, he's got 14 wins. He's fighting this Saturday. That's right. He is on the card. Poirier versus McGregor 3, July 10th on saturday our boy represents the dirty south that's right right here where i am is home to this dude houston texas what is our boy all right our boy is hpd but wait before you hate on our boy in blue let's see what he's got let me tell you this dude has got it all like i said he's got 14 wins six tkos five submissions three decisions He's got two losses, and both of those losses have been in the UFC going back 2019, where he lost versus Zach Cummings via submission guillotine choke. And then a few months later, August 2019, he lost versus Gerald Mearshart, also the exact same way, submission guillotine choke. Now, I know what you're thinking. The dude's got a weak spot on submissions. Our dude is actually a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And the only reason why he got caught with those is that he was actually pretty comfortable down there. He knew he was comfortable in what he was doing. He was comfortable where he was. They didn't feel like he was in any danger. And if you look at his fights, that's what he does. He's, he'll take the fight wherever he needs to. If it goes to the ground, he'll go to the ground. If you want to pull guard, he'll stay in your guard. If you know if you want to stand in trade he'll stand in trade the one thing i do know about this guy is that he doesn't stay still at all at all so this dude trevin giles and hopefully i'm pronouncing that right like street fighter guile 4-0 on the texas circuit right then he goes and i know that he's always been the underdog and he's also always been taken out top prospects and he did it in the UFC versus Roman Dolice which hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct uh, this dude I believe was like 8-0 and at the time and he was a huge hot prospect and he defeated him via unanimous decision but it was actually a lot closer than that either way our boy here he knows what's up he knows how to get down he knows how to throw down he is not afraid to get in your guard throw, throw punches from the top ground and pound you and just do whatever he needs to do to make sure that he finishes the fight and that he's the winner at the end. 14 wins. Uh, and then, of course, he comes into the UFC, gets a couple wins. Then he loses uh, against Zach Cummings and then Gerald Mearshart. Um, I know that he started his first fight January 13th, 2014 versus Angelus Raymond McFarlane, where he won uh, via inverted triangle choke in round one. And then he eventually made it into the UFC where he fought July 8th, 2017 on UFC 213 Romero versus Whitaker. That was a long time ago and it doesn't feel like that long. Anyhow, he went and fought James uh, Boshnovic and won via KO in round two. Then he also won via KO against Antonio Braga Neto. And... I believe that's when he got into his two losses against Zach Cumming and against GM3, uh, Jerome Shard. But then he went on a uh, winning streak. He won against James Krause via decision, split decision. He won against Bevan Lewis, uh, TKO. And then he won against Roman Dolice uh, via unanimous decision. August 1st, 2020, that's when he was going to face Kevin Holland that he uh, passed out. Uh, he fainted and had to pull out of the fight. He also now is about to fight the guy that he was supposed to fight back in March. He was going to fight uh, Dricus Du Plessis. And again, I am butchering this. I am so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce these names. I am really bad at that. But uh, yeah, so he was supposed to fight him. And then unfortunately, he fell out and then so on and so forth. But they are now going to be fighting this Saturday. What do I know about uh, Dricus Duplessis or Duplessis or Duplessis? Not much, but I promise you one thing. Same way I did with Trevin Giles is the same way I'm about to do with that dude. Because I want to know what he's about. I want to know what he's about to bring to the table. 
Is our boy Trevor Giles going to be in trouble? Or is our boy Trevor Giles going to handle it? Is he going to be a problem? Or is he going to be in a problem? I don't know where I was going with that. Just go with it. So our boy Trevor Giles, like I said, boy in blue, HPD, Houston Police Department. Born August 6, 92, city San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I believe he is in War Training Center. Six feet, fights in middleweight. What else? What else can I say about this guy? He's he's a beast. He is just a beast. He doesn't give up. He's got heart, heart, heart for days. And you can just tell by how he fights. Doesn't matter where the fight's taking place. It doesn't matter who's in front of him. It doesn't matter if it's a last minute replacement. He said it before in interviews. He it, that none of that matters to him. He just goes in there and wants to win. I know he's married. And I believe he has a kid. Um, I do follow him on Instagram. I kind of had to follow him just to make this. Because I wanted to get a little insight on the guy. The guy seems legit, man. The guy seems pretty cool. I would want to hang out with him. He's a cop. Don't get me wrong. But I know that he's also a UFC fighter. And he says he separates the two. So, you know, I'll take him for his word. But like I said, just wanted to get you guys hyped on someone that I guess is not really on the spotlight. Gotta show some love, man. Especially because he's from Texas. He's from the Dirty Third. That's where I'm at. And I didn't know this coming into this. I didn't know that he was from Texas. But, man, am I glad that I looked into it. And something just stood out. And I was going to do it on some other guys in the undercard. Those guys were on, like, 3-0 and losing streaks. Both of them. And then he popped up. I started looking at his highlights. And, man, when I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This guy that he's going to fight is also... 15 win streak sorry not streak 15 wins with two losses i'm not sure what his win streak is but i'm gonna find out and i'll definitely let you guys know what's up in the meantime like i said this saturday check our boys out they're gonna be fighting tune in i know i'm gonna tune in uh again like and subscribe i'm new to the channel super saiyan mma holla at your boy leave a comment say what's up Peace.